literally just signed off from my last video. I'm a little in shock that she's gonna be in a big bed. We went with a twin size. We'll see how goes the first night. What's a little girl? Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katrina. I make motherhood lifestyle cloth diaper videos and we're getting into some decluttering videos. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Here. Let me see with mom. I am coming back. I literally just signed off from my last video and now we're doing the start of this video. We bought Elise a new bed. We were planning on making it. I know, I know. We really wanted to, but we decided that it's actually more um, cost effective as well as uh, we don't have a lot of time to make a bed. We really wanted to, but it's just really hard and we found a really, really, really great option for us. Nick is taking it apart and putting it together right now. I'm a little in shock that she's gonna be in a big bed. We went with a twin size. Elise, what are you doing? Shoes, can I have the shoes? Thank you. What about the other one? Can I have the other one? Thank you so much. She loves cleaning. It's great. I am in the middle of making dinner. I'm going to go finish making dinner. This video is going to be kind of all over the place um, just as we can do the organizing and decluttering. We're hoping to do it within this week, um, but just so you know, it's going to be over a week of decluttering and organizing. Let's get started. <laughs> set up it is done we'll see how it goes the first night but at least it's all set up and ready to go and now time for the bedtime routine we're not using a pillow with her yet because it just doesn't feel right just yet now for the rest of the night we are probably going to be um, cleaning up out here we are going to be taking down the Christmas tree and organizing Elise's play area we got this rug here durable easily washable rug and we're gonna put it in the corner where the tree is and then have her shelf over there as well we took her shelf out all her toys out we're gonna be dealing with that while she is sleeping hopefully not wake her up Hello, it's been a few days. Yes, I have a face mask on right now. I am going to attempt to put together my closet organizer so that it's ready to be put together f um, in the actual closet tonight for Nick so that we can do it and get my closet organized. That's like my really big goal for this video is to get my closet fully organized because if I can get my closet organized, I'm going to be putting uh, my makeup and stuff in my closet and then my desk is going to become my actual desk rather than just where my makeup is stored. I've been putting my makeup on in the bathroom for the last several months and I haven't even been using my actual like makeup hair 
desk t stand thing. So I am gonna switch it all around and then I can keep my computer and my actual like work stuff on my desk. So I actually have a spot for it instead of working on the kitchen table. So that is the goal. It's kind of like one of those things where you have to do one thing in order to do the next thing in order to do the next thing. But we're gonna get started on that. been a few hours um I've been doing some stuff at least just woke up uh, but this is where we're at right now we have an issue with the bar it's not going to fit and um, it's definitely not gonna fit on the other side like on the box showed um, I definitely thought that our my closet was going to be bigger it's not I'm gonna wait for Nick to come home and he can maybe have some ideas to how to figure it out and then we can get this mess sorted out. It's the next day. I got Nick last night to attach the shelving to the wall so that obviously it wouldn't fall over and then I also got him to put in the rods and then I had to quickly put as much as I could back in. I did get rid of a bunch of clothing as well and I switched out all of my blue hangers um, for the nice wooden white ones that we have and it looks so much better already. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more organizing now. So I went out to Walmart. I got myself this. There was a couple options, but I found that this one is probably going to be the best for what I need it for, which is my makeup area. And I'll show you what my makeup area looks like because it's quite... Um, like I have a lot of makeup stuff and I do use it, but like I don't use it all at once. So I want it to be displayed nicely, um, but without it being cluttery. Also, what Nick is going to do is he's actually going to cut one of the pipes smaller so that it'll fit in this weird tiny little space because the closet is like a weird size. It wasn't the size I was expecting. So he's going to cut it and I'm going to use that area for my really long hanging clothing so that it's not like shoved up into my closet the way it is right now. He's gonna hopefully do that uh, either tonight or tomorrow sometime. This has turned into more of a uh, closet organizing redo for myself but I will try also to get some stuff done with Elisa's room. We'll see. I will however show you the new bedding that we got. Yeah that's kind of th that was like getting Elisa's bed and room kind of organized as well as getting my closet organized was like the two big things on my list to do and to figure out because they just my closet has gone by the wayside for like a very long time so gonna do that now This guy is my literal everyday makeup that I have, um, I, excluding the quick use palettes to over here, which I'm probably going to put this, uh, there we go, on the other side. Um, but this is what I use on a daily basis. This is what I take out, got all of my little bits in there. But now it's all organized. So the next thing to tackle is going to be this little area 
here. I want to have like my books and other things from here up here so that it's easily accessible and um, I can put other stuff in here that is not necessarily as nice to display so that this is all very nice and organized and clean looking. because there is some stuff that I want to get in order in the bathroom. I want to get our shower tidied up with all the products because I have a lot of <laughs> money products. So I want to get them organized. I just bought a shower organizer for doing so. So I'm going to do that now. Hi guys, it's been a few days. Yesterday, Nick finished putting my closet together with the little piece he needed to like cut the pipe and fit it all in there. It was like a bunch of work, but he finally got it in there. So I was able to organize my closet a little bit more. This whole video turned out to be more about my closet. However, that is going to change today because I am going to be doing my last section of this video, which is putting my desk together. So what I did was I took out all of my makeup and all of my hair stuff from like my makeup hair station and I am turning it into more of an office for myself and I have put all of my makeup and hair stuff more in my closet and then in the bathroom. I wanted a more permanent spot for my work area because I am doing a lot of editing and a lot of video stuff lately, so I wanted a permanent spot. Today we're going to be moving all of that, but first I have a huge pile of clothes that I'm really bad for. I kind of just like, once I wear a piece of clothing, even just once, I'm bad to put it back in the drawer even though it's clean. So I have a pile of clothes right over here. I'm going to really quickly do that. I have a very limited amount of time and I'm also supposed to be editing this video right now. So I do have to hurry. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for following along with this. Let's get started on getting this crazy pile of clothing figured out. So a quick little tip, a really good thing that I've learned is when I am organizing to really learn how to fold the clothes according to the space that you have so that you can see all of what you have and that they usually will generally stand up on their own. Obviously I have some clothes that will not, but in this case this one will stand up pretty perfectly, you know, if you can see that. So just really make sure that you fold them according to your space so that you can see everything that you have, so you know what you have, you know what you want to wear. It's my really big way to keep my closet organized.
let's review what we've done in this video. It's been a week of cleaning and stuff in the middle. First of all, we changed Elise's bed around, figured out where her toys and stuff were going, put her toys and books in the living room, got new bedding for her. And then we focused a lot on my closet. We took out the old shelf that came along with the closet initially and we put in a whole new system. I went through all my clothes, I got rid of a bunch, organized my makeup into my closet as well as my hair stuff into the bathroom so that I could use that makeup hair station as an actual desk for my computer so that I can work. I think that is it for today's video. I hope I didn't miss anything. I think that's what we all did. It's been a lot of fun. It's been very challenging. I have to say this week there was a lot more going on this week than I anticipated and it might not have been the smartest idea for me to try and do this organizational decluttering video this week but I made it work. We did it. I'm really happy with the whole switch and moving things around. It's made our bathroom cleaner. I'm glad I could take you on this and I hope that this inspires you because cleaning videos, decluttering videos, they always inspire me to declutter new spots, to declutter old spots again if they need it. So I really, really hope that this helps motivate you to also tackle those spots in your home because it is hard let me tell you but you can do it it feels wonderful after and remember to keep it up afterwards don't let it slide it's super easy to let it slide but you can do it you can keep it up you can keep those tidied places organized i will see you in the next video because it is getting late and I have to edit this guy. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.